Hello everybody, this is Spiky So Random, and uh, it's been a while since I've done a video, but uh, I thought I'd do one about this, because it's, it's quite a, 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 a thing, it's quite a thing, um, so yeah, uh, this is a package from game, as you can see I've kind of pre-opened it, kind of made sure everything was covered up and stuff like that, but uh, look at this, are you ready? Are you ready? So... Da, 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 da. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay, so this is the Nintendo Switch Lite. Awesome, awesome. And uh, it came with a lovely Super Mario notebook. Here we go. Well, so this is the notebook. Uh, it features Toad, Yoshi, uh, Mario, uh, Luigi, and Mario, uh, and it has Power Stars on it. And it's actually pretty cool. Like, look at this. Like, it's got like all of the items, eggs, booze, squids. So these are like Mario Kart items, if anything. Uh, it's got to be said. And then, of course, it features Luigi and Mario uh, embedded in it. And it says Super Mario on it. That's so cool. But uh, that's not really the main reason why I'm doing this video. The main reason, if I move this box out of the way is because of the Nintendo Switch Lite. So this is the Nintendo Switch Lite. Um, I do have the original Switch uh, and we will compare it. Let me just quickly... Dosh, okay. Okay, so we will compare the Nintendo Switch Lite to the uh, original Switch, which is in this case. Um, so let's find out. So one of the coolest things about the box is that this is the front, which is basically featuring the front of the Switch. And then this is the back. And that features the back of the Switch. That's really good, like, box design. Like, it just works. I mean, the hand thing, so it kind of does break the immersion a little bit, but I'll tell you what, it does work. It does look good. Um, you got some instructions, it takes micro SD, uh, it's trademark Nintendo, etc, etc, um, what's that? Something? I have no idea what that is, Nintendo Switch, handheld mode, Switch, look at the packaging HD rumble is not a, a thing there's no IR camera there's no detachable controllers blah 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 okay there we go cool all right uh, it features the Nintendo seal of quality so that's always good okay. Da -na -na -na. okay start as it says uh, in the uh, generic uh, Mario Kart form start um, Press the power button to enter or exit sleep mode. Okay, cool. All right So as you can see it's pretty well packaged actually the packaging is really clever like I remember the the original box for this the original switch and It did look a bit chunky and it was a little bit fiddly to get through but this packaging this packaging is good, like, it's got to be said. Um, there you go, so, here it is, are you ready? Da, 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 da. And there it is, Nintendo Switch Lite, wow. Of course, uh, as you can see, I chose the grey version. Um, the buttons actually stand out really nicely, it's got to be said. Um, if I just get out my old... Well, I wouldn't say my old Switch, my original Switch. Uh, I'll just quickly show you kind of like the different different look to it. So, um, so this is the original Switch. So, bam, there you go. Okay, so you can see by uh, it's it is actually significantly bigger. Uh, you can see that the the screen is actually slightly bigger on the original compared to this one the buttons this oh hang on instead of having buttons they've got a d-pad as well that's that's not too bad the the d-pad's a bit squishy compared to the you got clicky buttons yeah there's no clicky buttons here uh okay 
that's a clicky button. That's a clicky button. But these aren't clicky buttons. Okay. All right. Okay. That's interesting. So let me just uh, let me just pull it out of the paper. Uh, the paper, the plastic. Let me pull it out of the plastic. Okay. So here it is, out of the plastic. Um, now some things that uh, are of note. So the buttons are. Well, these buttons are definitely squishier. That's got a squish to it. That's got a click. These are these are squishy, and then these have got click. So, on the original switch, like you can feel that there's quite a tactile feedback on all of the buttons. Oh, and now I've turned it on. Uh, whoops. Okay, but yeah, there's like there's like visible like sound well not visible sound but there's sound there that you got the actual click okay the back buttons have got click and the trigger's got click okay. whereas this yeah the trick the back button and oh the trigger's got more of a click on the original switch and then the back button's kind of like softer whereas this one i don't know it just doesn't it feels it does feel different it's got to be said um but that's not a bad thing though, I guess. Um okay, so those are the let's have a look. So these are the downwards facing speakers, so you got two of them. Okay. You got USB C, that's not bad. Uh Nintendo Switch, so this is the back of it. Um there's no there's no stand, is there? Oh dear, okay, this is interesting. So there's no stand on it. That's where the micro SD goes. There's a game cart slot here, just there you go. Uh, somehow, despite making it significantly cheaper and also smaller, there's still a headphone jack, because, you know, that's actually the smart thing to do. The, hang on a second, so the power, the power and the uh, volume rockers are actually smaller, they're more compact. So, I've just got fingerprints all over the screen, I can't believe it, it's a cardinal sin. But if you look on, this one, I don't know, is there a difference? It's hard to tell, like, it's difficult to say, um, but yeah, if you just, let me just carefully turn it over, like so, so, you can see, like, you got, you got the vent holes, I think these are vent holes, that, yeah, you got the vent holes there, there, like, these are slightly smaller, but that's not a problem. You still got the vent hole on the top, which is like, you know, it's it's a staple thing. Uh, it's a small vent hole, which is probably better. So, yeah, this it's actually pretty nice design to be honest. Like the feel of it is, it's you, it's got like a textured plastic feel, whereas this that's got more of a, a piano plastic, I guess if they if you want to call it that. That's normally the, the generic thing, but these, this kind of plastic, it, it attracts fingerprints so easily, whereas this, that's, that's less going to be, that's going to be less of a problem with fingerprints. Actually, hang on, so this kind of plastic here is actually very similar to the plastic of the Joy-Cons. Yeah, that's, that's actually really similar in, uh, in design with that. But, um... Yeah, it's got to be said. Not not too not too shabby, not too shabby. Let me just the curiosity has gotten me, so I need to it needs to be done. Um is this No, actually, in all fairness, the volume rocker is actually more of a chunky button. It's got more more thickness to it. It's hashtag thick with C's, there's a hair here, I'm sorry, okay, and the power button, power button's not bad, actually, um, it's not, not too bad, and of course, you got the vents, as you can see, the, the, these are a lot wider than this, but, again, I'm probably going to say that the, the switch light, it would, it would probably have a less, less power draw to it anyway, um, of course, there's the, uh, the headphone jack, and, there's the trigger buttons, as you can see. Uh, there's the R, R, 
zero. Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Okay. And of course, you got the buttons. I actually quite like the design of the switch light. Like, I don't know. There's just something about it that's quite charming. I guess it's cute. It is definitely cute. I would describe it as cute. You can see how much smaller it is compared to the uh, original. And it's got quite a size difference. Um, let's. This is going to be first time turning it on, but let's have a look at compared to compared to this one. Let's have a look at. Oh, that's, that's very satisfying, that is. In English. Uh, Europe. Yeah, okay, I don't care. Searching for networks. Uh, later. Yep, London. Uh... Yeah, that's a lie. Okay. Uh, import from another switch. Yes. Yes. Uh, later. Okay. Oh well. Anyway, so in all fairness. I'm not sure. Does the does the screen look bright, brighter? Is it just because? Hang on. Let me just uh, brightness. Um. Hmm. Well, the screen actually does look brighter. It's got to be said. Hang on, let me do side by side comparison. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure. There's just something about it that just, yeah, I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, no, it's not not that bad to be honest. It isn't that bad? Well, anyway, so this is the Switch Lite. I'm probably going to start downloading and installing games. Um, this is going to be a very exciting experience to me. Um, and I'm probably going to say that this will be my, you know, go out and about kind of switch. Whereas this is going to be my stay at home switch kind of thing. Um, like, it's two different experiences, I guess. Like, this is for, like, on the TV, staying at home. Like, sometimes you're, like, in the house, upstairs, or just in the kitchen. Just got something to pass the time. Whereas this is kind of, like, on the go. Uh, you can go anywhere. There's no moving parts to worry about damaging. Like, I'm, I get really scared with the Joy Cons. Like, I get scared that these are gonna break. Whereas this, this has got some, like, impressing on it here. Look, like, like, it's got some solidness to it. Like, it's just you can see that it's, it's strong. It is strong. Um, I probably will get a screen protector for this switch. Um, the switch has unfortunately not had a screen protector on it, so uh, you can't really see it, but it has suffered from scratches and it's suffered from dust and fingerprints. Um, but you can kind of like, I don't know, you can't really see it to be honest, but yeah, I'm definitely going to get a screen protector from this one. Um, but yeah, on that note, uh, thank you for watching this video. It's been a long time since I've done a video, so. You know, I thought I'd uh, update you on something, and what what's better than one of these compared to one of these? Um, so, yeah, it's not too bad, to be honest. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, feel free to give it a like, maybe subscribe. Uh, I do random videos every now and then, so always feel free to check things out. I don't know. Uh, Ring the notification bell because, you know, YouTube, they like to be awkward like that. And yeah, on that note, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.